Welcome to Ginger Media Channel. This is a channel where we speak the truth and we explore the truth behind the headlines. The North is the problem with Nigeria. This is why even restructuring is like a mere palliative to our ailment as a nation. A breakup appears to be the only pinnacle to the rule of mediocrity mainly enforced by the Hausa Fulani in Nigeria. The North is holding the rest of the country to ransom. Until we tackle this problem, we are never, we repeat here at Njenje Media, we will never go in to succeed as a country. How can you make progress with a section of the country with very poor academic records dominating the commanding heights of your security, defense, bureaucratic, and economic management? How can you make progress? with people who do not pass common GCSE or people who are your president with no certificate but with affidavits. The House of Lani Medioca, only a fraction of them are sound, only a fraction. We have people like Lamido, Sanusi Lamido, who was a, a former emir. He's very sound. He's a sound fellow. We give it to him. And only if you are very conscious of their weaknesses and limitations, they know they need the South as a prop, but rather than allow themselves to be mentored or guided, they can only be the leaders at all costs. That's why you see them, the 2019 election is not even finished. They're already talking about 2023. They hold on tenaciously to the apparatus of power at all levels because it is the only leverage they have against the South. They see it as an adversary. Power is their means of livelihood. Yet, if you go up north, the diseases that have since gone out from the surface of the earth 20, 30 years ago still ravage commonly in those areas. That's why they created so many local government areas dispassionately or disappropriately to their population just to siphon free money from the south through the conduct of federation account, federal allocation, you visit the same local government, no senior official is ever around. What they do is to come to the office, the day of payment, collect money, and do what, and they disappear. We cannot continue this way. The North is holding Nigeria to ransom. The North is holding Nigeria to ransom, and the North is holding Nigeria backwards. If, like we said before, if you go to any local government office, you will not see any senior person. The chairman is either of four places. The state capital, Abuja, Dubai, or Saudi Arabia, and Umrah. He comes to his office once or twice a month to share federal allocation. Distribute 1,000 Naira to each of his Rankadede army and disappears till the next payday end of the month. How do you contextualize and coexist with these sort of people who live largely by cheating? Why those who have no access to states pursue, you know, or why those who have no access to state posts hit your street begging for survival? That is only region where people give birth with no plans on how to train them. All they know is that the moment a woman begins to get older, they will discard her and go marry another. By the time they marry up to four, they say that the Quran allows them to divorce and go marry another one. And the woman that has given birth to six, seven, eight children, so tired and haggard, has no power and no will to fight. What does she do? She just walks away. And the man goes back again, marries another, and starts bearing children uncontrollably. What happens afterwards? They allow the children to just go to the street, beg, and do babiala. What's worse is that they, do, they are not ready to change the exploitative and unproductive status quo. They crafted the constitution, created states, local governments, areas loop side deadly to survive and enjoy life at your own expense ab initio so don't expect anything that is near or that can be called change
Without any fight, change is far from us. Change is too far and too far away from us. We can we can continue to explain this to many of you that listen to Njenje Media Channel. The issue is, and that is the very sad part of it, how many of us understand this? How many of us can make sense out of what we are doing, what we are trying to explain to us? Sometimes we feel like breaking our brain and put these informations into our skulls and seal them and patch them back on. The way some of us, supposedly the so-called educated ones, in this matter, grovel in the way they think, in this matters, grovel in the gutters, praising non-events of the Buhari administration as something phenomenal and, achieve, and that the achievement leaves a sore taste in the mouth, a feeling that, that some are already enslaved mentally. How can a bridge, let's take for instance the second Niger bridge that they are building. There was a time, Mazezo, okay, went to that bridge and reported. And if you go to YouTube, you see where he was being insulted for doing what? For reporting that there is something called scam going on here. Now we at Injenja Widia, we ask, how come something that has been happening, a bridge that has been going on since the time of Babangida, that means it is over 30 years that this bridge is under discussion. Yet, that bridge is only 1.2 kilometers. That is 1,200 uh, meters. A bridge that crosses a small river, Niger, appears incapable. Every president that comes in must use it against you. Yet, they cannot fix that road. They cannot fix that bridge. Something is fundamentally wrong with us. We at Njenje Media, we cannot advocate this enough since the country does not want to restructure. We can call and we're still calling it and that is what we are saying at Njenje Media. Let the Yorubas stay on their own as the Oduduwa Republic. Let the old eastern region that comprises the south, south and the southeast of today stay on their own as a, their own republic. Let the north, if the north west, the north east, and the north central want to march together, let the north be on their own and declare Sharia state. We are happy with that. And let this nation be all we demand. The, the media cannot say that enough. For us to do this, let us come together and have a referendum and do this thing peacefully. Nigeria's fought war before. They don't need to fight another war. Once more, this is Njenje Media Channel. Subscribe to the channel.